Hey folks, Casey here with Two Tankers. Today we're going to take a look at the Maker Made 2.8 watt laser. We're going to take a look at how to properly calibrate the laser with the focus tool. We're going to look at creating a simple project in Lightburn and then loading that project into Makerverse so we can start creating some really cool stuff. So stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, just a quick note here. When you get your laser, if you hook it all up and it's operating, but the laser constantly fires. Makerverse does not shut the laser on and off whenever it's operating. On the inside of your JTEC laser control module, there's a little jumper in there for inverted and not inverted. You may have to pull the screws out, pop the top off the box, and change that jumper over to the opposite one that it's in whenever you bought it. So again, if your laser just constantly fires no matter what you do and it never shuts off and Makerverse does not control the power and on and off functionality, you need to move that jumper over. So let's go ahead and get started here, folks. Uh, first, we want to start with creating just a simple project in Lightburn. What we need to do is you'll find a standard SVG file or a vector file or a JPEG and you could actually just copy the image and paste it directly into Lightburn. Lightburn has a really nice functionality on basically creating outlines from any drawing that you find on the internet, which makes it pretty good. The way you do that is you, you paste your drawing into here, right click on it and click trace image. When you trace the image, all the purple lines on the trace image function is exactly where the laser is gonna burn. You can adjust that right here. You can adjust what you want to see in your laser trace. I'm gonna leave it about the center right there and I'm gonna click OK. When you click OK, then it creates that trace and you just drag it off to the side. I will then usually take my JPEG that I've pasted into it and I will delete that. I then take my drawing, my trace, and I move it down here as close as I can to my zero, zero mark. And with that, then it's ready to burn on my, in the Makerverse software. I'm setting it close to the zero, zero function. So once you have this set, you can highlight it and you can actually click on the functionality to look at how the laser is going to cut your drawing. Here I set it on 40. And I go ahead and click play, and it's gonna show me how that laser is going to function in the drawing, how it's going to do that cut. And I like how it's doing the cut here just for simplicity. So I'm gonna hit okay. Once I have that set, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna take this layer. When you pasted your drawing, it created a layer, and I have mine set on line. If I have it set on line, it's going to just run the outline of the trace that I did. Here's the difference. If I click on fill and I come down here and I go ahead and I look at the, the view, this is what it's going to cut. And it's going to take a long time to color in or burn in all of the solid black areas. So instead, what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and do a line. I click on line. And if I look at the review for that layer, I'm back to just creating the outline. So with that, I'll go ahead and click play, make sure everything is good. I click OK, I like that. So once I have this set, I need to set my speed and my burn limit, which is my laser power. So I'll double click on this, laser, this layer. I will make sure that my max power here is set to uh, 100%. And I usually adjust my speed between 15 to 20 inches per minute or in millimeters, if that's what you're working in, that's roughly 508 millimeters per minute. So make sure both of those are set and hit OK. Once you have that file set, then you can go over here and click Save G Code. And once your G Code is set, we'll make this one say Tankards. Once you have that set, I'm just saving it to my desktop. Click Save. So let's take a look at how you properly focus your JTEC laser on the M2 sled using the laser focus tool provided with your JTEC laser kit. First, you want to take your focus tool and you slide it into the three inch diameter opening in your sled and you slide it underneath of the JTEC laser 
and you hold it with a couple of your fingers there. While you're holding it, you slowly want to lower your z-axis while you're slowly wiggling the tool to see if it's moving. As you lower it, it will tighten up on the tool and once it tightens onto the tool, you can take your finger off and the focusing tool should stay in place. Now you have it properly focused to the 1 8 inch measurement. An important note that once you dial in your focus using the focal adjustment tool, make sure that you go into Makerverse and you set your Z axis work home. That way you can just click the home button on your Z axis and it'll always go to that exact same distance. All right, now that I have the focal distance set on my M2 sled with the laser using the focal tool that is provided with the laser, the next thing you wanna do is come into Makerverse and go ahead and upload your program. So we'll do the upload program. We will scroll down to tankards. Open the file. Then I will just simply set my home position, which in this case, I will go ahead and zero out right where I'm at. It sets it to where I wanted to start cutting on the board. Then I will scroll down here make sure my laser mode is on and I will simply hit play. And here's a quick shot of the final product. Notice the very sharp lines cut by the laser. This is all based on the setup and the trace and the adjustments I made in Lightburn. All right, folks, that's it. Now you know how to create a simple project in Lightburn, save the G-code, then calibrate the focus on your laser on your M2 sled using the focusing tool, and then you know how to upload that into Makerverse and operate it in the laser mode. So as always, like and subscribe if you like our content, and we'll see you on the next one.